Hey guys, welcome back to Expos Tuesday. And today we're actually going to look at a module that will help us modify or at least in a way theme our power menu. Let's go ahead and check it out. The module itself replaces your power menu. So accessing it basically just means you press and hold the power button and you wait for it, it comes up. Now, if you noticed right away that this is, there's a little bit of a delay, obviously, because it's overriding the existing one. One thing I want to mention, of course, right out of the box, this is a beta. This is by no means a stable actual module. You can try it out to test it out and see if it works, if it's something that you'd like to see, maybe help development, maybe support the developer. Check it out. The options that you get within it, obviously, are power off, reboot, soft reboot, which is what normally we do when we install a module. We have a recovery, uh, booting into bootloader or into safe mode. These options are the ones that you have. Unfortunately, we, have the, we don't have a way of customizing them right now. The UI itself from the application doesn't change it. Clicking home takes us away again. Uh, you're able to interact with it. It does have a slight delay because of the fact that it's in beta. It does have support for Android M. I'm running it on my Nexus 6P. It works very well. I'm able to reboot it. The first time I installed it, I was actually asked to give it permission for root. That's one thing that it does require. So if we go into the expose installer, we'll go under modules. And if I'm not mistaken, it should be right there. Neo power menu, check the box, make sure it's version 1.1-1. You're able to go into the actual UI. Um, it does actually do double check, make sure that the expose and root are currently work correctly working. And then you have the ability of going between light and dark theme. Of course, I went with a darker theme for the AMOLED. He provides us the source code, you have source code you're able to share as well. And of course, this is just basically NeoSoft as the company. And it's just the power button. Uh, development's being done. Hopefully, we'll see more functionalities, more options to customize it, better implementation, faster load. Uh, but overall, very nice. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Like and subscribe as usual. I'm glad I'm back from MWC 2016, and I'll see you guys in the next one.